All right, so we are starting with sitting up in our seat, grounding ourselves into the present moment. We wanna start to sit up upright. Think about our vertebrae stacked all the way up to the nape of our neck. So you wanna have a nice aligned back body. If you can bring your back away from the back of the chair and just keep yourself propped up, that's great. If for some reason that's just a little difficult for you, just sit up straight with your back um, supported from the back of the chair, okay? And maybe you can adjust throughout the class. And also I wanna make sure that your feet are about hips width apart. And the way that we find our hips width is we have our two fists, we press them together and hug the inner arches of our knees around the fists. Look down and gaze and you should see a capital H. Awesome. Next, if it's in your practice, you can close your eyes. If you choose not to close your eyes, just fixate your gaze in front of you. Making sure that it's fixated and you're not wandering around the room with it. You're starting to just tune inward. And on the next inhale, imagine that the breath can actually travel down towards the feet. You like to take a hand and place it on your belly you can do so and as you breathe in and out the breath will journey back out the nose or the mouth the inhale is through the nose traveling down to the feet and on the exhale as you release and give your body permission to relax the exhale exits either the nose or the mouth. And it's important that we breathe in through the nose. And when we breathe out, it's your choice, nose or mouth. And take about five breaths. Anytime the mind wanders, maybe you can flick the wrist to just kind of get the thought off your mind. Gently come back to the breath and the body. Nothing to do and nowhere to go but to be present for yoga right now. And slowly we're going to Take our hands and bring them down by our sides. Give your shoulders permission to relax. Maybe shrug your shoulders and just drop them down a few times. You don't have to open the eyes to do this, but what you want to do is just kind of lift them up and then drop them down. Break up some of that um, stale energy in the shoulder body. Today's class is going to be a mix of Hatha and flow. If you're not familiar with those terms, don't worry. Flow is something that you'll become accustomed to. As we transition with a movement in yoga and certain points, and in Hatha, we hold the pose a bit longer. Slowly, we're going to bring our arms up, reaching them up overhead. Roll the shoulders away from the ears and just pause here for a second in seated mountain pose. This is the first time we're lifting up our arms. So maybe lift up through the pelvic bowl and take the gaze up and look up towards the fingertips. Now, if your shoulders are tense or that is not comfortable for you, especially if you have an injury, you don't have to keep the arms completely straight. You can keep the elbows bent. For this practice, I will be doing it with the arms overhead. Modify as you need to. Next, we're going to bring our hands back down. Bring them down all the way towards the sides. Yep. And just feel the weight fall down into the fingertips. Inhale and breathe in. Allow the breath to be part of what guides your arms up. Look up, gaze up. And then on the exhale, come down for three, two, one. Inhale, breathe in. All 
arms rise. And exhale, come back down all the way. Take it slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. On the next inhale, allow the arms to lift up. And this time we're going to interlace the fingers, press the palms up towards the ceiling, roll the shoulders away from the ears, your gaze is up. And on the exhale, you're going to lean to your left, pull open on that right shoulder and look up towards um, the ceiling. You should be looking at the inside of your right shoulder, I mean the inside of your right elbow. Come back to center and you're going to lean to your right, pivoting open on that left shoulder and looking up, seeing the inside of your left elbow. Come back to center. Take your fingers and just as you're coming down, rotate the wrist. Bring the hands behind you and interlace those fingers. Now, if you want to stay just like this, just placing your fingertips on your sacrum, you can. Otherwise, you can start to lean forward, extending those arms, or you can also come back. So it's really a personal preference. You don't have to twist on your seat with me. You can just kind of find that zone for yourself and then undo the arms and in a steady place, bring the arms back down by the side. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to take our right shoulder and lift it up and then roll it back. Then we're going to take our left, we're going to lift it up and roll it back. Our right and back. Our left and back. Do this two more times on each side. Match the breath with the movement. There you go. Now let's reverse. Let's start with the left coming forward and really put your upper body into it. Keep your sits bone grounded into the mat. Lift up through the spinal body, pressing down through the chest. All right, come to do about four on each side. Then we're going to lift up the shoulders together at the same time and roll them back. Inhaling and exhaling four times and all they go back. And then forward. And only do what you can do. Be gentle if you have any injuries. Arms rise, reach up, lift up overhead. Let's interlace the fingers again. Let's do that stretch again on the side. So we're going to lean again mm -hmm. to the left. Look up, gaze up, come back to center, and lean to the right, look up, gaze up. And now our hands are going to in an undo, we're going to bring them to the side so arms are straight, one long line of energy. Take those hands face forward so that the arms are extended straight, but the hands are ready to move forward, and as we do this, it's like we're grabbing a ball. We're going to bring our hands together, hold the ball up and breathe. And just stay here for a moment. Extending out the arms, allowing the energy to be strong. And when I say to be strong, it's through the breath, using the breath as your guide. And then exhale, pull back. Arms come behind you. Press the chest out, look up, gaze up so that you can get that full stretch in the neck body and where the clavicle bone is and the chest is. And just pause for a moment again. This time release a little bit more. And then we're going to come back forward. But now take your back body and allow like your back body to dome shape. It's almost like it's touching the back of your chair. But the chest is leaning forward into the arms and the arms are forward. And if you had a block, you'd be holding that block. Feet are positioned on the ground like they're melted into the ground beneath you. Inhale and breathe in. Pull back. Lift up. Gaze up. Now you're just going to take your arms back. Hands are kind of facing one another, but it's almost like they're pointing towards the floor. And we're going to come back forward and go a little bit faster. And then we'll fly out. It's almost like this flying motion, but it helps to open up the mid back body and the shoulders and the chest. One more. 
last one. Now bring the arms by the sides and you can feel the burn. Take a moment to just feel the burn in the shoulders, the biceps, the triceps. Beautiful. We're going to keep our arms down for a moment. Let's come to um, work on the neck. So bring the chin to the chest. Continue to sit up nice and straight. And then roll your right ear towards your right shoulder. On the exhale, drop the chin back to the chest and roll your left ear to your left shoulder. Come back to center and this time we're gonna hold it a little bit longer, right ear to the right shoulder. And we're gonna breathe for about five seconds here. Chin back to the chest and pause. Left ear to the left shoulder and pause. Continue to breathe. Chin back to the center chest. You're going to come right into a roll. Maybe go back and forth about four times. Continue to matching the breath with the movement. Come back to center. Beautiful. We're going to now take our arms, bring them out in front of us. Wiggle your right fingertips. Yep, your right fingertips. And then you're going to bring your right hand on top of your left shoulder. The left hand is going to come underneath. And you're going to keep the elbows up away from the chest and you're going to hug yourself. And just stay here for a moment. Walk your fingertips up your shoulder blades a little bit more to make the hug a little bit deeper and then tuck the chin into the chest. Bring the head back up. Unwind the arms, extend them out. And then come back to center with the hands and wiggle the left fingertips. Yep, left fingertips. Bring the left hand on top of the left of the right shoulder. Right hand goes underneath. Walk the fingertips up the shoulder blades. Keep the elbows off the chest and tuck your chin into your chest. Good job. If you catch yourself holding the breath, just remind yourself to breathe in a gentle way. Unwind the hands, send the arms out and bring the arms down by the side. We're going to do this again, but this time there's going to be another choice added. So if you feel like you can't um, do the bound eagle, then what you can do is just stay in that hug position that we just did. Okay, so wiggle your right fingertips, right fingertips come to the left shoulder. Left hand comes underneath. Again, you're back in that hug position. So get in the hug position first. Now you can stay here, but if it's in your practice, you can come into that bound pose with your hands. Chuck your chin into your chest. Lift your shoulders up. Lift your elbows up. Chin stays tucked into the chest. And slowly we're going to start to come down, bending our bellies towards our thighs. And then we're going to drop our elbows, whether you're in the bound pose or the hug pose. And you're going to drop them over the knees and let your belly rest on your thighs. 
Let all your weight rest. Nothing to hold on to. Besides your shoulder blades or your hands. And each time you breathe, allow that breath to really permeate through the mid-back body. Now we're going to squeeze the core. We're going to press our feet into the ground a little bit more as we come up. And we're just going to rise up through uh, that fold, lifting up, elbows back to where we started, towards the ceiling, chin to the chest. And just stay there for a few moments and then come back to center and unwind the hands and just allow them to come backwards and forwards to shake it out and then bring the hands down by the sides and pause for a moment breathe in and out we're going to bring our hands back up to where we were before into center wiggle the left fingertips bring the left hand on top of the right shoulder the right hand comes underneath. Hug yourself, tuck the chin into the chest. Now, if you wanna stay just like this, you can. Otherwise, you can come in for your bound pose. Keep the chin tucked into the chest and start to lift up the shoulders. The shoulders lift the elbows. The chin stays in the chest, so you don't have anything to do with the head. The arms are isolated from the head body and from the neck. Slowly, we're going to start to position ourselves so we can come forward until our bellies press onto our thighs and our elbows are hanging over our knees. And just breathe. Again, pressing more of your feet into the ground. Start to lift up. Take your time. Then bring the elbows back to where we were with them up towards the ceiling. And then back to eyesight gaze where we started. And then unwind. And then spread them out. Yes, and your shoulders should feel a lot more looser. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. Let's take our hands and get some heat going. I want you to get a little bit more heat going. Just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. And you're going to take those hands and you're going to place them onto your face, right into the um, eye socket like the knuckle of the palm, you can just gently lay there and start to just rotate those um, hands around in a gentle motion. Come up around the temples, down the cheeks, to the jaw, maybe scissor cut your ears a few times. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you can see that, what's that what that looks like. Okay, continue to come up around the eyes and maybe take the ring finger and just gently on the underneath of your eyes, be very gentle, inhaling and exhaling. Come down to the nose where the nasal cavity is and just pull away. Yeah, there you go. And I'm using my ring finger because it's the most gentlest finger to touch. And breathe in and breathe out as you move motion, okay? Because that's the way you really start to expand the sinuses, open up the face, body. Come down around, come to the neck, come to your shoulders. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and we're going to come down to our heart. All right, just start to do a rotation on the heart about seven times forward, seven times back. Okay. Be gentle here. Be intentional with your compassion and your kindness in this moment as you rub your heart. Come down to the belly and rub your belly too. Be also kind and compassionate 
They say our bellies are our second brains, right? So this is a very important part of the body. Down to the thighs, especially if there's any tension in the hips, kind of rub it out. And if it's in your practice, you can come all the way down to your feet. All right. And we're going to come back up to sitting. And we're going to do our first flow of the class. All right. Arms rise. Look up. Gaze up. You should be wide awake now. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Half lift. Flat back. And when we come into our half lift, pause for a moment. I want you to just breathe in and out. And we're going to take our arms and lift them in front of us, like we are holding a block in front of us. Squeeze the core. Lift out the pelvic bowl by lifting up into the heart. So you're lifting your rib cage up towards the chest, your chest towards the heart. Shoulders are up, but they're not squeezing the ears. All right, hands come back behind you. And then come back down, belly towards the thighs. And then inhale, arms rise. And hands come down by the side. Beautiful. Let's do that two more times. All right. Inhale. Look up. Gaze up. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Half lift. Flat back. Pause for a moment. I'm throwing in a little quirky here. Bring the hands up overhead in front of you. Exhale. Hands behind you. Chest comes back down towards the thighs. Inhale. Arms come all the way up into mountain pose. Gaze up. One breath, one movement. All right. Hands come down by the sides. Last one. Make it your own. Arms reach up overhead. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Half lift, flat back. Pause there for a moment. Inhale. Arms out in front of you. Exhale, hands come back behind you, and as you're exhaling, come back down, belly to the um, thighs, and then arms rise, reach up overhead, and hands come down by the sides. Hands rise, and I want you to pivot over towards the right. If you want to close the legs for this portion of the class, you can. We're going to be doing a seated twist, or you can keep them open. That's fine. But you do have that choice. Come back to center. And then pivot over towards the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left and bring the hands now down by the side. Come back up to the center and then to the left. And the hands kind of just come over to the side. Back up to center. This time we're going to find a home for our hands. So cross your left arm across the body, left hand touches the right thigh, so you're on the outside of the right thigh, the right hand comes behind you. And I'm going to move my chair just so you can see me. And I find a home for myself on the bottom of the chair, but you are more than welcome to hold the top of the chair, or just keep your hand by the side. And we're going to stay in this pose for a few moments, so get comfortable, adjust it as you need to. And take your gaze and look over that right shoulder. And just continue to breathe. Allowing for an extension and lengthening on the inhale and a deeper twist on the exhale. This is a really important pose for your spine and flexibility. Gently, arms are going to reach up. And you're still looking over towards the right side. No need to rush. And we'll come back to center and we'll pivot. And bring your hands now over towards the left side, right? Right hand is on the outside of the left leg, right? The left hand is behind us. So it finds a home or to the side. And take the gaze over that left shoulder. And just get comfy. Allow the breath 
the in-breath to lengthen and the exhale to twist. Slowly we're gonna bring our hands up, come back to center, taking our time. And let's go through a flow. Arms rise, reach up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half, arm lift, flat back. And this time we're just gonna go down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise. And hands come by the side. Bring your legs together. We're going to continue to do some twists. So bring your legs together for one long line of energy. Press your feet into the ground and squeeze the belly sitting up a little bit taller. And that will help your thighs to kind of connect. Okay? It's not imperative that they completely are glued. So just do your best. All right, we're going to bring our hands to our heart centered in a prayer position. Pause for a few moments. Sit up a little bit taller, lengthening with the breath in the spine. You want to get some space from the lower part of the belly up to the chest. And then you're going to wiggle your left elbow. And just come down, just like a bird would have come down with their wings, and bring your left elbow to your left thigh. Allow your right elbow to go up towards the sky. And we're just going to stay here for a moment. And come back up, squeeze the core. We're going to take the right elbow, so wiggle your right elbow. And just come down for a landing on your right thigh. Take the gaze up, looking over the left elbow towards the ceiling. Come back to center. We're going to take that left elbow, but this time we're going to come down, if it's in our practice, to the right thigh. So you're going to cross over. Now, if you can't do that, just take your elbow back to the left thigh. If you can, you can cross over, maybe even hooking the elbow a little bit to the very edge of the right thigh. And you can take your gaze up. Now, if you like to undo the hands, you can undo the hands and you can go in for a fly away. The right hand is all the way up in the sky. The left hand is down like it's saying, okay. <laughs> and you don't have to do anything else now if you don't want to do this you don't have to you have options so I hope you're listening to yourself and you're feeling out your own practice hands come back together if they're not there already squeeze the core coming up still looking over towards the right side and then pivot back to center all right and take that right elbow, so wiggle that right elbow, and now you know what to do, right? So if you want to keep your right elbow on the right thigh, you can, but otherwise, cross over. And if you want to go in for the flyaway bind, oh, well, the flyaway, I should say, you can just bring your hands up. This time the left hand is all the way pointed towards the sky, the right hand is down. It's in like a position of receiving, so to speak. It's like you're receiving the beautiful breath and energy around you in this pose. Gently bring the hands back together if they're not there already. Pivot up, squeezing the core as you rise, still looking over towards the left side, and then come back to center. 
and bring the hands down by the side. Beautiful. And just shake it out. Yes. <laughs> Good job. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of hand yoga and then we're going to start to move down the legs. I love hand yoga because it opens up the whole body. So bring your hands back out. We've been here already. By now, you should also be feeling the strength from the repetition. Holding your arms up steady. Breathe in. And exhale. Extend the fingertips out so that they're stabilized. Wiggle the right fingertips and then sky flip the right hand, so the right palm, so it's facing the ceiling. Take the left hand and plop it underneath. You should hear a little plop sound. Press those fingertips. From the left hand, you're going to just kind of curl them over and pull back on the right fingertips. Now here's the thing, you don't have to go very far for this. And if you're not very flexible, it may look like your hand is still facing the ceiling and that is okay. Now everybody, keep the connection and bring your elbows to your side. Okay? So keep the connection here. When you need a break, bring the elbows to the side but keep your hands touching. And then come back out. And this is, that's your resting place if you need it. I'm going to start to breathe in an intentional way so, uh, that it matches the movement of the rotation. Starting on the pinky, going forward and backward, and then gently moving on to each fingertip. Remember, do not hold the breath. Allow yourself to breathe. If you hold the breath, it's going to be harder for you. And then finally the thumb. And then all the fingertips press back. And then gently we're going to bring our hands down. Rotating the hands. All right. Relax the shoulders. Sit up right once again lifting through the rib cage up to the heart and then bring the hands back up in front of you inhale and breathe in and on the exhale roll those shoulders away from the ears but keep the arms stable wiggle the left fingertips and then sky flip the left hand so that the palm is facing the ceiling right hand comes underneath and it plops pull back beautiful Let's all take a quick break just so we know that it's accessible to us. Elbows come by the sides. Fingertips, we're still holding on to those. And then come back out when you're ready. And start on the pinky, rotating the pinky, allowing the breath to connect to the pinky's movement. Find a rhythm too. It's not so much just one breath, one movement here. It's finding a steady pace with the breath and with the movement and the rotation. Also be very gentle, don't overstretch the hands or the limbs. And then just come back for that final press forward. And take the hands and bring them down by the side. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go through a flow. Arms rise, reach up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, left back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise. And then we're going to bring our hands onto the tops of our thighs. And we're going to start to just rotate because we're going to be getting ready for that um, some leg poses. So let's rotate our hip body so we can start to loosen the lower back body. That's also connected to our hamstrings. So maybe even give yourself a little bit of space while you do this. Maybe open up the legs and start to do your rotations. We're going to do about eight going to the left and then eight going to the right. And allow the breath to match the movement. 
Squeeze the core. Try to keep the sits bone on the seat the whole time. All right. I think we got about three more. All right, breathe in and out. Keep the legs right where they are. You wanna keep them extended open. We're gonna take our right hand, so wiggle the right hand. We're gonna slide it down the inside of the right thigh. Then we're gonna go down the inside of the knee, down the inside of the foreleg, and wrap our fingertips around the ankle on the right side. The elbow is pressing into the inner um, leg body. The left hand goes up to the sky. We're gonna to try to keep our left sits bone grounded into the chair. And if you can, take the gaze up and you're just gonna pivot back on that chest body, pivoting from the frame of your rib cage. And just kind of try to maybe even take your hand and keep that left leg down and then bring it up. And keep breathing. If you find it difficult, you can always just relax the arm or relax the hand somewhere else on the thigh. And then we're gonna come up, bring both hands back onto the knees. All right, we're gonna take the left hand, wiggle the left hand. We're gonna bring it down the same way. So it's inside of the thigh, the knee, the inside of the foreleg. That's that area where the bicep, the, sorry, the calf muscle and the shin kind of wrap around, but you're on the inside. And then you're gonna come down to that ankle if it's in your practice. Kind of press down on the right side with your hand and then lift your hand up so that you're peeling open from the rib cage and looking up the, sh um, the inside of the arm. Then we're going to bring our hand back up. And this time we're going to lean. All right, so we're just going to lean on the right side, take the long part of the arm, just lean there. And we're going to take the arm up on the left side, look up, gaze up. And then if it's in your practice to do so, you can bring that hand on the left side either to the top of your chair or you can wrap it or just lay it on your back body. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so if you're on your chair, you're holding on to the top of the chair or your hand is just behind you. The other way, so you can just stay up with your hands. So, Guys, this is just modifications, okay? So find the one that works best for you. Yep. And then we're going to reverse. So we're gonna bring that left hand down, bring it on to the left thigh, all right? We have three modifications for this. We can take the hand up on the right side and keep it up there. All right, I'll show it from this end. So that's what it looks like. I got my legs, I got the inside of my legs open. I'm looking up. All right, and then that hand, that right hand can either stay there or you can bring it to the top of the chair or you can just bring it behind you. Can you make sure you're looking up over that right shoulder or looking up towards the ceiling. You don't want to have your head down. You want to be having your gaze up. All right. If your hand isn't down already, bring your hand down. Open back up. All right. And you're going to bring both elbows to the inside of the legs. Squeeze the legs against the elbows. Bring the hands together so that they're in that prayer position, that namaste position, and press it together. Squeeze and just stay here for a few moments. This is like the equivalent of our frog pose. So this is really good for our digestion. And this is just a really overall great pose to strengthen the core muscles because we're in the chair. 
So that gives us a little extra boost. And then if it's in your practice, you can start to bring the hands down, bring the hands to the ground, drop the head and shake it yes and no. If it's not in your practice, just bring your hands to the inside of your, arm, um, of your legs and wrap your fingertips around both ankles. But if you can let go, let go. It's a really good way to just kind of um, decompress the back body. And shake the head, yes and no. <laughs> and we slowly start to walk our hands back up, wrapping our fingertips around the ankle, and then just coming up, palm pressing and thumbing the legs. Until we finally come up to a seated position and toe heel the feet back together. Arms rise, reach up overhead, squeeze the core on the exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise. And then bring the hands down by the side. All right, let's start working on some of the lower part of our bodies. All right, we're going to take the hands and we're going to bring up our right knee a little bit. Now, if your toe is the only thing, if your toe is the only thing touching the um, ground, that's fine, but you want to bring your heel up. If you can lift up the foot all the way, that's also great. You want to kind of bring that over though towards your right armpit. This way you're not cutting off the ability to breathe. If you just kind of bring it over to the side. Make sure that your left um, foot is grounded into the mat. Beautiful. And then let all the weight fall into your interlaced fingers. And then let your chin tuck into your chest. And just stay there for a moment. You don't have nothing else to do. Again, if you're toe is touching the ground, that's fine. If you can't get it up very high, that's okay. Take about two more breaths here. And then we're going to gently just lift that knee up, squeeze the thigh, bring it a little bit closer towards the arm, um, the armpit on the right side and you can rotate the foot there you go and gently place the foot back down onto the ground all right we're going to take our hands and we're going to do the same thing on the other side remember you can always just lift up on the heel and keep your toe on the ground but if you can you can kind of lift up a little bit higher on that left foot. Your right foot is um, grounded into the mat. Your left knee is bent and their foot is either on the toe, to the ground, or is completely lifted. And then we're going to take our chin, tuck it into our chest, and let the weight fall from our knee into our interlaced fingers. And just hold it for a few moments. Should be getting a nice long stretch on the arms. It might even go up towards the middle of your back. There's weight that you're holding on to in your fingertips. You're using the resistance with the help of gravity to stretch out different parts of your body here. On the next inhale, squeeze the core and then lift up that left knee towards the left armpit. And you can start to rotate the ankle a few times, forward and back. And bring the foot back down to the ground. Awesome. We're going to start to just continue to transition rather than go through a flow at this moment. Let's take that right foot, wiggle the right foot and bring it out in front of you. You're going to place the heel on the ground and keep the sole of the foot raised up. The toes, you can see, they wave hello to you. 
Maybe hold on to the chair. Sit up a little bit taller. You're going to take your hands, both your right and your left, and you're just going to place them on top of your left thigh. And you can stay just like this. But if you like, you can start to lean forward just a little bit until you feel a mild to moderate stretch on the right hamstrings. And just hold it for a few moments. This is where we start getting into more of our holding poses. If you want to bring the chin to the chest, you can do that as well. And gently rise back up, belly, chest, and then head. And then bring your right foot back to base where we started. Legs or hips width apart. We're going to now take the left foot, wiggle the left toes, and bring the left foot down in front of us, straighten out the left leg. So we have a straight, straight line of energy from the, um, from the hamstrings all the way down to the heel. And then the toes wave hello, so the foot is flexed. Both hands are going to come onto the right thigh now. And you're just going to lean forward if it's in your practice until you feel a mild to moderate stretch. And you're just going to hold it there. Use the breath to help you. Where you start is probably not where you're going to end, so you don't have to rush here. No need to rush. No need to force. Come back up, belly, chest, and then head. Roll the shoulders away from the ears, roll back, and bring both feet back into your base position. All right, beautiful. We're gonna go through a flow, and then we're gonna finish with the legs. We will not be doing any standing poses today. We're kind of running out of time. So we're gonna end up doing a few poses and then come into our Savasana pose. All right. Arms rise, reach up, lift up, overhead. If you want to do this standing, you can, but otherwise we're just going to continue to sit for those who want to sit. On your next exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach up, and hands come back down by the side. This time we're going to take both legs, and we're going to bring both legs out in front of us, extending both our right and our left, heel to the ground, the sole of the foot is up, and the toes are waving hello. Maybe they even say hello to you. <laughs> so you're going to sit up tall in your seat. This is extended leg forward fold. And if you want to hold on, you can. I always like to start out the practice holding on to my chair, and then I start to lean forward. And when I feel like I'm right at my sweet spot, I let go. But you don't have to do it like that, like I do it. If you want to continue to hold for the entire duration, you can. Or if you're adventurous and you're used to this, you can just come right into your sweet spot. Chin to the chest. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Come back up. Belly, chest, and head. Bring both feet back to center. All right. We're going to go through another flow. Arms rise, reach up, lift up, overhead. Come down using the belly for strength. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise. And hands come back to the seat again. We're going to take our right foot in front of us and then our left and cross it over this time. So you should, by the time you're done, you're going to have a lot of length in your hamstrings. And it's really important that we lengthen those tendons and those muscles. All right. So sit up a little bit taller in your seat. And then we do that. So when we inhale, we lengthen. On the exhale, we deflate and we come forward. We have more breathing room because we're in a crunched kind of position. That's why I always tell you to lift up through your breath if you ever wonder that. And then come forward. 
extended leg again, forward fold, but this time our legs are crossed. And in, inhaling and exhaling. Come back up, belly, chest, and head, both feet back to center. Let's do another flow. Arms rise, reach up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come up, come back onto your seat. We got to do the other side. So stay with me. Take that left foot, extend it out in front of you. Take the right, cross it over. Now we know where our sweet spot is. You should be feeling a little bit more of relaxation and loosening in your leg body. Sit up tall to get your length and on the exhale, come forward. Make sure that you can breathe. Remember, a little bit goes a long way. So you don't have to touch your toes here. But if you can, hey, go for it. If you wanna just gently lean forward, even like a centimeter, that might be more than enough for you. So find your space in that range. We're gonna come up, belly, chest, and head. We're gonna do our final flow of the class. Arms rise, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands come up. And then bring your hands to the tops of your thighs. If you like to sky flip the hands, you're welcome to as we prepare for Savasana. If you don't like to do that, you don't have to. You can always modify in any position that works for you. But close the eyes. Give yourself permission to congratulate yourself on a job well done. And to embrace those fruits of your full practice. Maybe even smile as you take some breaths, some breaths of gratitude, and love, and appreciation. You didn't have to come today, but you did. And for that, I am grateful and thankful. Continue to breathe. I'm going to read a quote. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. It is founded on our thoughts. It is made up of our thoughts. If a man speaks or acts with a pure thought, happiness follows him like a shadow that never leaves him. I'm going to ring the singing bowl. You can just allow that to be part of your savasana practice until we close class.
You're welcome to stay in Savasana as long as you like by leaving the session now. Otherwise, we will close class together. When you're ready, you can wiggle the toes and the hands and open the eyes. Take in a few more breaths, maybe feeling gratitude with each breath. You can bring your hands to heart center if you like. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. Take care and namaste. Thank you. Thank you.